Hey guys, welcome back to another part of Titan video. It's been some time since I made one and that's because all the patch notes that they released weren't really interesting and now they finally released one that is pretty good, pretty interesting, which is the new swimming mechanic. So currently the only dinosaur with a swimming mechanic would be the the new swimming mechanic rather would be the Suko Minus. So let's check it out. Play the Suko Minus and help test our water mechanic. Hold control to dive and right click to steer underwater. That's kind of weird. Steer underwater. Alright. Let's pick our Suko Minus and name it. I don't have that skin. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have a horrible naming sense. Don't mind me. Alright, let's try the swimming mechanic out. Okay. So let's go. Ooh, oh that's cool. If I move faster. Steer, what do I steer? Full right to steer. Oh okay. Oh, that's cool. Ah oh, they actually unlike other uh games, they actually gave the dinosaur a a dive and swing mechanic. Huh. Oh, there's deeper water so I can do this. Hmm. Maybe one thing I could say is that the tail doesn't whoosh around enough, I guess. Is that a, is that a reason? Alright. But I do like the fact that they actually bothered to have a different animation when they're swimming up and down. Because uh, most other games, they just, in order to save time, they just made a made the creature do a tilt. Like just maybe a 30 degrees tilt and then make it look like it's swimming downwards instead of like this. Where the creature actually swoops down. Swoops down rather. That's pretty good. That's pretty nice. What, what, is that a... Oh, oh, that's a water graphic. Hmm, sadly uh, there's no... I don't understand what they mean by right click to steer though. I right click to steer. I'm gonna steer, that's fine. Huh, alright. Hmm, maybe one criticism I could give is when it's going up, I guess. Because when it's going down, it's pretty cool because it swoops down. Whereas it's going out, right, it's like... It's hit is peaking out a bit too high. Maybe it could be on the same level that it can be on the water level and the rest of the body just floats back up to the water level. Maybe that would be a nicer addition, so to speak. But all in all, the, I like the fact that when it swoops down, it goes like this, which is pretty good. And also, it looks pretty nice and quite real too. That's really pretty cool. I still don't understand what the right, what do you mean by whole right click to steer though. Only my steer, like go up or down. Oh, okay, apparently you can still go up and down via this way. This kind of method. Oh, then my steer is going up and down. Oh, okay, okay, that makes more sense. Hmm, wait, give me a moment. Does it have a different animation? Let's be in the middle of the water. Okay, it's. Shot is swimming like this. Oh, you go down. Maybe when we are near the bottom of the lake, they could make it so that it's swimming in the sense that it's in the water. You know, like walking in the water, like where its feet is on the ground instead of paddling its feet into the ground like that. So maybe what they could change is. They made it so that once you're near, once you're like on running on land in the water, like so, uh, you are actually like walking on land, similar to walking on land rather, like so. Well, I, c I quite like the swim mechanic. I quite like the diving mechanic, but the it can be, it definitely can be improved. Let's see the dive from time. Woof. Okay, m m maybe m not so anticlimactic. Well, well. Alright, up next is uh, we're going to try playing the herbivore, the Camptosaurus. As they said that there are many different kind of new food. There are many, uh, there are many different kind of new food around. So I'm going to go walk around and hopefully we can find what these new food are.
Right. Oh, whoa, wow. Oh, we're well lucky. This is already the new food. Ah, how do I eat again? That food? Ah, uh, yeah, okay, so the. Uh, I, what, what I. Alright, oh, okay. oh, yeah, they implemented a quest system, is it? Oh, departed hunter sticker. Oh, that's nice. They actually uh, made parts of the area like named. So when we enter a new area, it's like a new pop out. Alright, I'm gonna go search around for the for the new food and one thing they could definitely improve off is the eating. Maybe they haven't put in the eating animation of the food yet. So uh, as you saw just now, the mushroom that I saw just disappear like. So that definitely can be improved. Let's see if we can find a new food source. Is this lock a new food source? No, it's not. They said that uh, some new food source are mushrooms, beehives, and whatnot. And the new quest currently is that uh, you can find a. If you find the, 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 the new quest system is that if you find new. Uh, if you find complete them, they will actually. Oh, here we go. If you complete them, they will actually. Increase? No, it actually uh, give you points so that you can buy skins with them. Alright, let's run around a bit and see where you can find any new food source. Oh, it's raining already. Maybe the another thing that could they could implement uh, for us to find food would be a sense? A smelling system? Yeah, a smelling system, so to speak. Where uh, we can smell the area. The, area and then they will not they'll either highlight or leave a trail for us to go and you, you know find the food itself instead of us like uh, blindlessly running around hopefully a mushroom or two will pop out and I really really want to find some of the new food source acorns honeys which one and I can't remember which key was it that you press to open the Oh, that doesn't work. Uh, the quest key, the quest uh, layout, the quest UI rather. Where is it? Oh, and it's getting dark. All right. I may or may not have missed a mushroom here and there, or even an acorn. So yeah, I think uh, they should make a food finding system where it's either you follow a trail of uh, trail of scent where you ultimately reach the end point uh, the food or you highlight the area around you for food or anything in fact the on the topic of scent they could actually make it so that you can have different scent like a scent could like a one scent could be for food or the another scent could be uh, warning us about danger where uh, where you can see like oh let's say the central is red in color that could be dangerous as that might have been left by a carnivore or any other dangerous predators around whereas a they could have either white or green trail sand so we can be so we can see that oh okay that's our food and for the carnivore side they could see uh, the they could make it different so that it's like oh, this particular color scent is uh green. Oh, oh yeah, I was actually about to talk about this. All right. Uh, as I was saying about the scent, where they could see like oh, this particular prey is the easier prey, so it's green. This particular prey is harder, so it's orange. This is, however, it's a larger carnivore, so stay away from it, so it's red again. So they could improve on the scent system. If they ever implement it, which I hope they do, because it's kind of hard to find any food uh, by just running around randomly. And yeah, this is the uh, your home, so to speak. Is it home? Yeah, I actually wanted to uh, talk about like when are they gonna implement this? Because I saw a trailer about it, and it looks pretty. Oh, shit! And it look, it looks like oh, it looks pretty interesting. So, ah, so this is where the home, home, the your home cave. Is that what I said? Your home cave is.
if I'm not wrong, they say that you can expand your home cave and decorate it with either points or other mechanisms in the game, which I'm quite interested to see. Well, currently I'm only finding mushrooms, I can't really find any other food source as of yet. What are the other food source? Uh, okay. It's kind of weird. That, uh, okay. So, apparently, the other food source that they introduced other than mushrooms are actually beehives, uh, corns, acorns, or whatever, uh, flower, which looks like suspiciously like a raffosia. And if you not know what that is, that is the foulest smelling flower in the world. And also honeycombs. They, it is said that these uh, food, additional, additional food source will have, uh, will be given to certain dinosaurs uh, will give certain dinosaurs a much more varied diet that could lead to lots of gameplay opportunities through stat bars, stat debuffs and healing properties so that would be interesting so let's say if you're prepping uh, for a fight or you're running away and just right there is that certain food source there you can Prepare yourself for the fight, or like make it make it more efficiently to run away. But I can't find any of the other food source other than a mushroom. I saw this other cave right above. Wait, where is it? Is it a cave? Oh, they haven't even fall damage, so I can just abuse it. Heh. Huh? This cave is really big. This would be quite fun to set up an ambush or just, you know, chilling out here with your friends until like a carnival comes along and you just push it, push it, to, either you run away or you push it to the corner. Alright, let's see how many more, uh, let's see how many more mushrooms I can find. Huh. Actually, with all these collisions against uh, small trees and branches on the ground, maybe I hope they can in the future. If your current weight size or size or size is big enough to break those uh, set branches, I think they should allow it. As you know, it's kind of weird that a dinosaur will be stuck to a branch if they are big enough to break it. However, if they are too small, of course they can't, so they have to route around it. Okay, guys. Sad to say, I couldn't find any more mushrooms other than the 11th one so um my views on the current situation with arc uh, arc with power titans it's coming along nicely as you can see that they're actually putting in effort to make it different from other survival dinosaur game not only in terms of a quest system but also a the animations where even the swim even the swimming animation is different and interesting compared to the rest where other dinosaurs are have just a set motion where they can swim up and down using that that set animation only. Whereas this, they have a whole diving and surfacing animation with the Sukomimus. So yeah, and they also make it so that there is a different food source for herbivores so that they can gain buffs and whatnot. So maybe they can introduce a new food source for carnivores where if you kill a larger prey you can gain like a pride boost where you get there where you are proud of yourself where you can deal extra damage and whatnot to other creatures or whatnot. So yep that is my current review for the latest patch of Power of Titan and I hope that the the game would be released I would I would say the game is released too slow as they said there will there will be a delay. So I hope that they will take their time with the game. So, uh, so when they release the actual product, it's not. I don't mind if it's buggy, but I would mind if it's incomplete. An, incom an incomplete game is much more worse than a buggy game, as bugs can be fixed, but incomplete game has to be either paid or need to be waited out. So, yep, that is my current review. TLDR, the game is coming on nicely, and I actually am quite fond of it currently. Of course there are many things that you can improve. So once 
a newer a newer much more interesting patch note comes out I will make another video on it so see you soon